Hack Forums is a forum dedicated to hacking and cybersecurity. One popular user of the forum is Nokia Tumon2, who is very active on the hacking section of the forum, posting more than 500 times from 2009 to 2016. His posts would include details of the hacking tools and services he had purchased, as well as the social media accounts and mobile apps he targeted. He would commission Hack Forums members to delete certain social media accounts, as well as other services, and sought out to buy verified YouTube and other social media accounts. What made him popular on the forums were his extremely generous donations and the giveaways and contests he would host on the forums. His donations would total over $11,700, which would gain him an award made exclusively for him. In 2016, Nokia 2 Montu would disappear from the forums completely with no prior warning. While the user's identity remained a mystery, users would discover that he was based in Saudi Arabia from the address used in the PayPal account he would use for the donations. The users believed that he had some ties to the royal family. It wasn't until a data breach of the site would reveal the email used for Nokia 2 Montu, which would be linked to Saud al Qatani, the royal advisor to the Saudi crown prince. Saud was also tasked with running social media operations for the royal court and hacking and monitoring critics and people who opposed the kingdom. Saud was a key figure in the 2017 Saudi Arabian purge, luring victims to the Ritz Carlton by arranging fake meetings. Once there, the targets would be pressured to sign over their assets or face imprisonment and torture. On October 2, 2018, US based Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi, who was often critical of Saudi Arabia and its leadership, walked into the Saudi consulate in Istanbul to obtain documents relating to his planned marriage. However, he was not seen leaving. Jamal was declared a missing person. While initially, the Saudi Arabian government would claim that Jamal had left the consulate alive, they would later reveal that he had in fact died. It would later be revealed that while inside, Jamal would be ambushed by 15 Saudi Arabian operatives who would kill and him. Many of the operatives were part of the Saudi Rapid Intervention Force, a team overseen by Saud, which has a role in covertly targeting and killing Saudi opponents. Saud was believed to have conducted the operation, even calling into the consulate via Skype, insulting Khashoggi, and reportedly telling the team, bring me the head of the dog. It was suspected that Saud was given the orders to do so by the crown prince. Records show that they had exchanged 11 messages before and after the assassination. However, the crown prince has denied any involvement in this. One of the members of the hit team also called Saud to inform him that the operation had been completed. Saud, who is being investigated for his role in the murder, was cleared of any charges as there was no proof of involvement. Jose Barrera discovered this image on Google Satellite View. The image shows police officers surrounding the body of his deceased son, 14-year-old Kevin Barrera, who was murdered in 2009. The case remains unsolved. The coordinates of the photo roughly matches the location where police found the boy, near a railroad track in Richmond, California. Jose discovered the photo four years following the incident and has requested that Google remove the image as it brings back lots of painful memories. Google responded saying that while they had never accelerated updating satellite photos before, they will make an exception in this case. The photo has since been updated. On the 3rd of May 2000, at 12.18pm, a user by the name of Neomugicha wrote a cryptic message on a 2chan thread, under the title, Saga Prefecture, Saga City, 17 year old. He wrote haha and nothing more. At the time the thread had no replies. Following this. Neomugicha gets on a bus headed to Tenjin Bus Center in Fukuoka from Saga City at around 12.56 p.m. At approximately 1.35 p.m., Neomugicha goes up to the bus driver and threatens him with a chef's knife he'd bought just for this. Don't go to Tenjin. I'm taking over this bus, he says. The 17-year-old then faces the crowd proclaiming that he's taking control of the bus, which had 20 passengers aboard. Neomugicha then instructs the driver to keep driving on the Kyushu Expressway instead of going to the intended destination. Then turning to the passengers, he says, your destination is not tension, it's hell. He then threatens the passengers to follow his orders or else he'll kill them. He ordered the men to go to the back of the bus and the women to the front. He also ordered the curtains to be closed and for all the middle seats to be folded down. As an added precaution, Neomugicha sat next to a six-year-old who was traveling alone on the bus. While the boy was giving the orders, one woman was asleep which enraged him, causing him to stash a knife at her neck. At 2.30pm, a woman asks to use the toilet. When she gets out of the bus, she runs as fast as she could. Enraged, 
Neomugi just stashes another woman, the woman who had escaped called the police, making them aware of the severity of the situation. 30 minutes following this, while the bus was on the highway, another woman escaped unnoticed. When Neomugicha discovered this, he slashed another woman. The police were now tracking the bus, and in the vicinity of a service area they set up a partial blockade where the bus slows down and a male passenger escapes. National television began broadcasting the situation live. The previous 2chan thread began gaining a large amount of traction as a result. The bus then stops at a service area in Hiroshima, where the police negotiate the release of three injured passengers in exchange for food and other supplies. However, one of the passengers had already died as a result of her injuries. The bus then continues driving and stops at another service area. There, the police start talking with the boy, while a special forces unit discreetly surrounded the bus. They threw stun grenades inside and broke the windows on the side of the bus, saving the hostages and arresting the boy which put a stop to the hijacking that had been going on for 15 hours. This incident would inspire other copycat 2chan users who wanted to commit similar crimes, but they were all arrested before they could carry out their crimes.